welcome back this is the sql server backup using the transact sql okay in the last video i ended up with the stripped backup now we are going to in this video let's start with the dumb device backing up to the dumb device first you have to define define the device backing up the device saves you from the typing the path name or the file or or the tape name you need the membership in the disk admin fixed server role you also need a permission to write to the disk now let's go to the command that is the sp it is the system stored procedure which is known as sp add dump device now the first parameter is disk which is the disk or the tape whichever you feel like depending upon whether you are backing up to creating a device on the disk or a tape north wind is the name and the last part is the path where your backup would be created now we are going to create the device name north wind backup and it will create and add a dump device let's go and run this transact execute this transact sql there we are we have added the dump device now let's go and check it with the sp help device it will give us the name of the dump device that we have added there it is we have added the device name not when backup now it is there now when i said sp help device it shows me all the devices if i wanted to just take up the north wind backup device i could have specified by specified with the name sp help device with the name north wind and executed it and it would have given me the name for whether the device exists or not for that name only here it is now let's go and actually back up to the database northwind to the device name northwind with a description northwind backup device name equals to northwind december 13 2011 backup i will change the name if i want here depending upon the requirement it is okay right now i will leave it as it is you would actually use a date when you are actually backing up the database this is very important and otherwise you will not be able to remember the what day did you back it up you ha you can restore this from the header or the backup that will talk talk in a later times okay now i am going to back up this thing and the database is being back to the north wind device there there we are we have got the report stating that the database has been successfully processed for 109 pages now suppose if i wanted to drop the device north wind if i select this command and drop the device it will drop the device but the file the north wind device would be dropped but the file that was here and here when i said add dump device would still remain on the hard disk or on the tape drive wherever it was located now if i use this command this this same sp drop device north wind backup with this option del file equals del file then the file would also get deleted from that folder or wherever that file was if you do not specify del file then the file still remains on the operating system hard disk or wherever you created it now let's use the mirror option you can mirror the same backup up till four mirrors per backup set what does it mean that exactly the same copy would be created at a different places okay now i have this backup command backup database north wind to the disk that is e colon 
slash backup two is the folder name and the north window one a dot back is the first file name. Mirror to disk means this is another copy of the same database which would be on a different drive and then there is a, another mirror to the disk on another drive. I can have up to four mirrors for backup set. Now with format means it will erase whatever the contents of that media would be there before it backs it up. Now let me execute this command and show it to you. There it shows database successfully processed. That's it. Now there is another option available which is very rarely used in the SQL server that is a copy only backup option. The copy only backup option in the SQL server backup that is independent of the sequence of the conventional SQL server backup. Usually taking a backup changes the database and affects how later the backups are restored. If you wanted to backup the database without affecting the overall backup operation copy only backup works with all the recovery models copy only log backup works with the full and bulk logged only it doesn't work with a simple recovery model now what does it mean is that when you use a copy only backup whatever your existing backup is going on that will remain undisturbed means there would be no truncation of the log there would be no actually the point of the backup would not change it will remain wherever that the lost full backup and wherever the lost transaction backup was taken you can continue taking your backup as you have not taken any backup from that time onwards the copy only will not disturb the sequence of your backup now here is the command the transact SQL to actually run this thing it says backup database northwind to disk e colon backup the name of the file with copy only ok I am going to ex execute this transact SQL and there we have it has been successfully backed up as a copy only database that's it for this backup in the next Backup part 3, we will deal with the backing up the transaction lock.